fortunate to know the truth. Now, obviously, we all got our own, um, we all got our own free will, but I feel really fortunate, you know, through Jesus Christ, that you know, the number one, that He's real. Number two, that you know, He died for me personally. He died, He did die for me. And then number three, He's also given me, you know, the option of of eternal life. You know, I just need to endure until the end in the faith, and everything's going to be sorted for me on the other side and also on this side as well. So and I just feel really fortunate, and I think. You know, the more I acknowledge that this is the truth, the more I have that fire and that yearning to tell other people about the truth as well. Amen. So, Mo, we're sitting here by a lake yeah. in, uh, outside of Croydon, and you're going to be baptised. How did you come to know about Jesus? Um, so, about two and a half years ago, I was, I was massively depressed. I was, you know, I was hooked on weed at the time. Um, I, was, I was heavily into the new age as well. Yeah. New Age, reading about the occult, and I was just really anxious. And I came then picked up the New Testament, went through the Gospels, went through Matthew, and went through John. And that's when I started to honestly, I I, I called out to Christ um, around that time. And then after I kept on reading the Bible by myself, I started to feel like you know what is known as the Holy Ghost. I, I felt, and it was it was notably different to anything else I'd felt before. So I knew that this that there was such thing as the Spirit of God. Uh, obviously people had told me about the Holy Spirit before and I'd kind of mocked them before but then I felt it myself and I was like wow this you know Jesus not only has he made me cry like on countless occasions after I've called out to him recently but you know also when I'm reading the, the, the New Testament I'm feeling the presence of God so then yeah that's how it started and from that you know read most of the Bible afterwards and yeah I was on fire for, on fire for the cause you know it made me made me realize that you know God is true you know, God is patient as well. I have been through some problems since then, but you know, he's 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 been sanctifying me and purging me, you know. And now I'm excited, obviously, to just get my baptism done now. That's great. Yeah. So it was really by reading and rereading the New Testament that you came to know Jesus. Yeah, it was it was literally by the word. You know, Paul says that you know faith comes by the hearing of the word, and that's what happened with me. I did. You know, even Paul says in in Galatians that he he didn't that he didn't receive. The, the good news, the gospel from any man, but from a revelation of Christ. And to be honest, I feel that that's what happened to me. I didn't have a vision, you know, as poor, I didn't have a vision. I didn't hear Jesus's voice, but I, I picked up the Bible myself and I, I and, you know, I want to get baptized by water as well. But it was literally from, as you said, it was from reading the New Testament that, um, that I started this walk, yeah. So how, how did you uh, contact with us then? Okay, so basically I was walking down um, from like BP and I'd been thinking, I was actually, you know, meditating. Which, upon, which, which BP? So it's BP in Addington. Yeah, right in Addington. Yeah, right yeah. in the middle of Addington. So I was just, yeah. you know, I just got something to eat. It's quite late actually, about 10.30. And as I was walking back and I was thinking at what can I do to, you know, to, to contribute more to the kingdom. And then I saw a bus and it said, you know, free Bible. Um, took, a, took a picture of it straight away. Um, then I went onto YouTube saw one of your videos and I saw obviously that you were doing you were doing free bibles phoned you and then yeah it was worked really quickly from there I think I'd probably I think it was a it was potentially it was a Monday actually that you came down yeah then I came back I came down to see you straight away yeah so I think maybe I'd That's seen it on a Sunday and I called and then we, we did it on a or maybe it was in fact it was a Monday I called you and you came down no you, you texted me okay yeah as I remember yeah and then I said I saw you didn't live far from me, so I said, okay, I'll come around and see you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that from that, you know, you've given me the free Bibles, and, you know, yeah. a lot of people are enthusiastic to find out, you know, you have to do a bit of digging, you need to work for it, but there are people which are hungry for the truth, you know. So, um, what, what do you find people's reaction is when you, when you give them, because you know, you've been distributing our New Testaments, right? Yeah. What's people's reaction when you just go out to people in Croydon and give them a New Testament? You know, it's it, it's a mixture because sometimes people are just like, you know, they're a bit scornful as if like, why would I need a Bible? Um, you know, there's a lot of atheists in our community today, a lot of agnostics, but some people, you know, when you tell them that it's free, they, you know, they're, yeah. they're, they're overjoyed. They're like, wow, it's free. Um, yeah, I, I found that as well. Yeah. Because, as you say, a lot of people are so sceptical about religion because they think, ah, it's all about money. You know? Yeah. But when you say, look, mate, it's free. I say to people, would you read this if I give it to you? And yeah. If the bloke says yes, I say, well, there you are, for free. And they always say, are you sure it's free? I say, yeah, it's free. Walk away, yeah. take it away. 
Yeah. So I just hope and I'm praying that there'll be someone like you yeah. who gets that New Testament and reads it and rereads it. Yeah, amen. And and meets Jesus amen. through the pages of the scriptures. No, I'm, because, I'm certain because, you know, Jesus says that the word will not come back void. So the word, you know, <laughs> presumably they, they read it. They, I mean, they're going to get influenced by it if they give it a shot. So do you have a message for people who are reading the New Testament? Yeah, I would say, you know, keep keep reading through it daily. Um, don't just be a hair of the words, do it as well, you know. Look, focus on, on the words of Jesus Christ and incorporate them into your life. You know, Jesus says that if you obey my commandments, that me and the Father will come inside of you and dwell within you. And that's something that I found that you it's real as Jesus said everything that Jesus speaks of is true and if you start to walk that path that Jesus himself walked you're going to realize that a lot of the things that he was saying to his disciples still apply to you but you need to you need to read the word Jesus said that you'll be you'll be sanctified by the truth and the truth is the word so if you've already started on this journey keep keep reading we keep reading the word and I mean it's just the beginning of, of the journey that you'll have with God Amen. Amen. Well, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful spot for baptism. That's for that's for sure. It's going to be a little bit cold in there, but um, it's just beautiful here in the autumn with the uh, with the trees dropping their leaves and the trees turning colour. So, Mo, do you believe the things about the kingdom of God or the name of Jesus? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I'm going to baptise you in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. for the forgiveness of your sins. Amen. I just pray. Heavenly Father, we really pray that you really bless Mo Amen. and his baptism into your son. Amen. Father, as he goes under the water, that's like his death with your son. Yes, Lord. As he comes out of it, it's like his resurrection. Yes, Lord. Please be with him and go with him Amen. until your kingdom. For Jesus' sake. Jesus, amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's really quick. <laughs> so, how do you feel? Oh, I feel invigorated. You know, I feel the Lord was with us today. Amen. And He preordained this. <laughs> Absolutely, nothing is chance. No, nothing, nothing The fact at that all. you were walking past a BP petrol station yeah. and you saw the advert for the Bibles and you yeah. took a photo of that and then you called me or texted me and it's ended in this. Oh, praise that the Lord. That is, praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, well, let's just try off then. Praise God. I just wanted to ask you, Mo, yeah. is um, you're a professional, right? Yeah. You're a high school teacher yeah but, uh, how do you I don't want to sound snobby about it but a lot of people get the impression that Christianity is for the simple yeah 100% for, for the poor yeah uh, for the dumbos for people who can't see through it yeah um, what's your comment as, as a you know as a professional I guess you finished you know higher education done higher training and you know you're yeah. a high school teacher yeah do you have any comment on that yeah, first I used to think, you know, it's for simple people as well. You know, I used to think that a lot of people have just been brainwashed from youth. It's just, mm. you know, ritualised religion, not too dissimilar to other religions, Sikhism, Islam, you know, whatever it is. And that's why, you know, 
once I came out of university, I was attracted to the new age. You know, I thought that that was going to be, you know, the, the intellectual um, option to take. But no, when I go through the Bible, it actually, you know, it's very, I, I've learned a lot of wisdom. And this is why I always try and tell my friends, I've learned so much things. You know, the, the, the wisdom and the knowledge of God is far superior to any of the, the wisdom or knowledge you could, you could um, ascertain here, or, you know, on this earth. And I think, you know, the people that were in Jesus's inner circle, although they may have come from, you know, quite a simple or um, uneducated background, I mean, if you're reading the letters, the epistles, or the Book of Revelation of John, which they which they wrote in um, the eld the elderly ages, you start to realise that these men were very knowledgeable of certain things which we cannot even you know talk about today. Even you know, you look at the Apostle Paul; he came from a very educated background. He was learned in you know all of all of the um you know all of the greeks philosophy all of that type of stuff um he was learned in in um jewish culture he was learned in all of those things and yet here's a man who wholeheartedly gave himself to the cause of jesus christ so i don't think you should get dissuaded if you come from an educational background but rather it, think of think of jesus christ as someone who's going to sharpen everything that you've learned beforehand right. and he will use it for a good cause for the you know for the cause of the, of the kingdom of heaven i like that yeah that, that he will sharpen everything you've got yeah yeah i, I yeah actually that's, that's a good way to put it yeah. oh thanks for that that's right to know the truth now obviously we've all got our own um we all got our own free will but feel really fortunate you know through Jesus Christ that you know the number one that he's real number two that you know he died for me personally he died he did die for me and then number three he's also given me you know the option of of eternal life you know, I just need to endure until the end in the faith and everything's going to be sorted for me on the other side and also on this side as well so and I just feel really fortunate and I think you know the more I acknowledge that this is the truth the more I have that fire and that yearning to tell other people about the truth as well Amen.